Welcome to our special stream night activity for art where we are going to create watercolor marbled bookmarks. So for this we need a piece of paper okay for our bookmark and at each table you will have a tray and three colors with the droppers. If your tray does not have water in it you will also have a water pitcher and the first thing that you will need to do before any of the water or the oil uh, watercolor is to write your name and your teacher's name on one side of your bookmark. That way I can have them laminated and returned back to you once they dry. You're gonna use the blank side. This is the side you'll set down into the tray when we get to that step. Now, earlier this year we wrote our one word onto a rock and decorated it for the rock garden. So what I would like us to do is to take a Sharpie and to write our word on our bookmark before marbling the paper. So my word this year was thrive. So I'm gonna write it real quick with Sharpie and you can decorate your letters uh, however you want. If you wanna put bubbles on there, you wanna do bubble letters, cursive, block letters, uppercase, lowercase, whatever you choose to do. But decorate your word with the Sharpie and you can do this while you're waiting for your turn to marble your paper. Once you have your word on your bookmark, you're gonna make sure that the tray is filled. And on the side of each tray, I've put a black Sharpie line, and that'll just show you how much water that you need to put in here. So go ahead, fill up your tray. and then you're ready for the marbling. Now, this is watercolor mixed with oil, and you can see that it's got the bubbles in there, and I've, I've got it mixed up nicely uh, right now. And what's gonna happen, you're gonna squeeze the dropper and get some paint in here for all three colors. You have red, yellow, and blue. Our base is water, this is oil, and we know that water and oil can't mix, because of density, um, the uh, oil floats on water because it's less dense than water. So it's gonna be on the top and it's gonna allow us to paint. So go ahead, you can drip your paint around into the tray. And so you can see that red, drip your yellow in. And these are our primary colors. Remember there's three primary colors and every color is created from these. Once you have a nice design, make sure that you put the word side down so you'll see your name and teacher's name at the top. Set it in, float it around, mix it up, and when you take it out, you're gonna have a really cool tie-dyed design. You can leave it on the table and I'll put it in the drying rack for you. And that is how you create a watercolor marbled bookmark.